All right, hello everyone and welcome. I see many people are joining the stream, so I figure I'll start the pre-stream now, especially in the anticipation that I might actually be able to do some online play in Street Fighter V today. I, of course, am Darkside Phil, and welcome to my first gameplay stream of the day. And what is my fourth gameplay stream of Street Fighter V? Yet I still have yet to play a single match online. I haven't even had a match connect yet. Now, there's good news and bad news. So, I'll get everyone caught up here. Alright. So, the good news is, despite the fact that Street Fighter V has not had functioning online capability for the past two days since its launch, and the fact that I have not been able to do any kind of coverage like I had originally anticipated, which was going to be me playing the game online all week and basically going crazy, doing montages and everything... Uh, I still have been able to play the game offline, which means I've been able to check out uh, an interesting handful of characters. So far, I've played with Ryu, Zangief, Birdie, Fong, and Rashid. I messed around a little bit with Dalzim, but I certainly would not say that I played with him in any capacity where I would be trying to play with him online. I have not even seen any kind of strategies or anything with him yet. And therefore, I will not be attempting to play with him competitively as of yet. I'm not saying I'll never will. I'm just saying right now, I, I wouldn't consider him a possibility for even trying to do an online match. Okay? So, I was able to play with those characters in their story modes and in their survival ru mode runs. And I actually was able to beat the normal difficulty survival mode both with Ryu and with Rashid. <sighs> I actually got pretty close with other characters. Uh, with Zangief, Birdie, Nikali... Oh, that's right. I played with Nikali last night, too. I completely forgot about that. Holy shit. <laughs> I've completely forgotten that I played with Nikali last night. So Nikali is another character that I've actually played with. And I may or may not play with online today. Uh, I have to see if I feel like it. Because, I, honestly, I don't know if, how good of a character Nikali is. He doesn't seem to me like a character that has a way to really get in on anyone. He doesn't even have a crossover, a cross-up attack. So, we'll see. <clears throat> Maybe after I play a little bit today... I'll, uh, I'll figure out exactly, uh, I'll figure out exactly who I want to play with, alright? So, ladies and gents, that's what I've been doing, offline content. Now, if we go online today and it doesn't work, I'll continue with that. I'll check out some more characters, there's not much I could do about it, if that is the case and it's all screwed up and I can't play online, you know... It is what it is. Uh, you know, it, the game is broken. Everyone knows it. Uh, mainstream media refuses to cover it for some reason. Uh, I don't know if it's because they're so embarrassed that they all reviewed the game and gave it incredibly high review scores when they were so incredibly dumb they didn't realize that the only reason that the online component worked was because there was probably only a couple hundred people who had the fucking game when they reviewed it. I mean, how dumb can you be to not know? That if you have an advanced review copy of a game whose main gameplay is an online component, that if you review it early, you're not getting the actual experience of playing it online at release. You have to be a fucking moron. So everyone from the mainstream gaming media who reviewed this game early, you're a fucking moron. It's official. You're a hack. You're a dunce. You're not professional. You're a fucking idiot who is rushing to get a review out so that you can make money and get clicks on your website, and you didn't actually care if your review was accurate or not. There, I fucking said it. So, uh, got that off my chest too. So anyway, uh, here's the deal, everyone. So the, the good news is, even though there's been no online play, all right, I've had fun with the game. I am enjoying playing the game, just that I need to obviously play it online to actually figure out uh, the ins and outs of the game and actually get some kind of, uh, some kind of, uh, legitimate gameplay. You don't know how the game's actually gonna be until you play it against a human, and that's the bottom line. Fighting games are fun in single player for a limited amount of time, and then you need to play them against a human or else what's the point, right? Now, the other good news is, overnight, tons of people played Street Fighter V and were able to play the game online. However, I mean, a quick hypothesis here, judging by the, the performance of both the beta and this game, probably would tell you the reason is because tons of people gave up. They all tried to play the game on launch day. The game did not work on launch day. 
and they either said, fuck this, I'm not going to sit here trying to play this game constantly when it doesn't work, or it was nighttime, so people went to sleep. And as people went to sleep, the servers finally freed up and people were able to play the game. And it's hilarious because I just started getting messages on Twitter. It was like midnight last night, right? I'm getting messages on Twitter. Phil, you got to play Street Fighter V right now. Maximilian is doing a stream. He's doing a six-hour stream overnight of Street Fighter, and it's working perfectly for him. Good for him. Uh, I'm, you know, if, if that's really what people want to do, if they want to play the game from 2 to 6 in the fucking morning, good for you. I don't. I paid 60 bucks for a functioning game that's supposed to work when I am ready to play it. Not whenever I'm going to change my fucking schedule to play a video game. I just want to, want you to think how stupid and insane this sounds. Change my life schedule to play a video game because it only works in the morning or overnight. That's insanity. A game that's supposed to be for recreational purposes, I'm going to change my sleep schedule to play it overnight. <laughs> How about no? And certainly I'm not saying, hey, I'm not saying anything negative to anyone who did stay up because they're such a huge Street Fighter, you know, aficionado or fan that they were dying to play the game overnight. Uh, no, I, uh, not me. You know, I've been playing Street Fighter for 25 years. I love it. I cannot wait to play this game against other people, but there's no way, shape, or form am I going to change my whole fucking life schedule to play Street Fighter V overnight, because that's the only time it works. Sorry. So, here we are, and here's the thing. The good news is it worked overnight, and many people were able to play the game and get many matches in, which is great. The bad news is, we're now getting reports that the game is fucked up again. Yeah. Yeah. If you can believe it, we're now getting reports that people are trying to play right now and they're getting crashes, they're getting kicked, they're having issues. That's not cool. And you know why? It's pretty easy to figure this out. Because more people are trying to play again. Everyone heard that overnight the game worked. So everyone's like, wow, yes, now we can play. So everyone's going to rush to the servers as they wake up, as they get, get, get out of school or work or whatever it is. Yes, we can play Street Fighter V. And now the servers are going to get fucking hammered again. Seriously. This is, uh... Who knows? This is going to be interesting. We'll see. We'll see firsthand together if I could do online matches. Now, here's the thing. I've played with a bunch of characters, and I want to try them. Like I said, uh, Ryu, Zangief, Birdie, uh, Rashid... Uh, Fong, and probably a little bit of Nikali. I'd like to play with all those characters online today if I can. So, in all honesty, if the online works, that's probably all I'm going to do today, because I've been craving to fucking play the game so much online, <clears throat> that that's probably going to be my main focus and the only thing I do today. Now, my schedule for this week is already screwed up. Tomorrow, originally, I was planning on doing a, a private session with a friend of mine on the East Coast, Brian Burke, and we were going to test out coast-to-coast -coast connections and also the private lobby system. Unfortunately, the private lobby system didn't even work last night, supposedly it's supposed to work now but it's still buggy and doesn't work so there's not much that can be done <clears throat> uh, if, it, if it, you know this works it works if not no but more than likely i'm not going to be doing this private lobby tomorrow simply because <clears throat> if, if the online is just starting to work i'd obviously prefer to do that now the other thing is i was originally going to tomorrow night start making like montages of my gameplay from this week but being that all the gameplay has been offline against the computer, sure, I've got a little bit of stuff, but I don't have too much in the realm of, you know, complex stuff to show you because I haven't played any humans yet. So, there's nothing I can really do there either. I mean, right now, the primary goal is to play online and play a ton and try to get, you know, gameplay in and raw footage so that we can, uh, you know, have something to work with. So, so we'll see how it goes today, all right? <clears throat> Right now, we're going to be playing for around three and a half to four hours, depending on how it goes. Tonight, I'll be doing a second stream at 7 p.m. Pacific time, roughly. It might be a little earlier or a little later, give or take. It all depends on what's going on with the game. Last night, when I was going to play at 7 p.m., they took down the fucking servers. All right. So, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, so, we're going to get started momentarily. What I will do here is very quickly do a few uh, th uh, a few pieces of housekeeping 
All right. Number one, because I haven't talked about this in days. Number one, anyone who was a patron of mine in the month of January, all of your perks should now be, have been distributed. Whether you were owed a private Q&A video, a forum upgrade, etc., you should have it. If you don't have it, you need to message me. Because I've done everything that I saw from, via Patreon, but Patreon decided to do uh, late processing this month. I don't know why. They processed a few people's pledges super late. And there's no ability on the website to see whose pledges came through super late. So I don't know if I still owe someone a perk or not. I need to be told. So please message me on Patreon if you had your pledge processed pretty late. Okay? That's number one. Number two. If you're enjoying all of my coverage of Street Fighter V and or other stuff. If you like the daily live streams. If you like the videos on demand on YouTube. Number one, please check out the description of the video. And, uh... Or the stream in there. There's an Amazon associate link that you can use when you shop on Amazon. Number two, please check out my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash darksidefill where your pledges earn you personal perks. And also, uh, it, it stacks towards a goal. I forgot to update the goal for this month, which sucks. I should have done it and I forgot. So tonight, I'm going to try to remember to update the goal uh, so that people know what they're pledging towards. All right? I fucked up. Because I was so caught up with all the Street Fighter shit that I completely forgot to do it. So I'm going to try to do that tonight and then I'll start talking about that as early as tomorrow so people know what the goal is for this month. But any contributions certainly allow me to continue doing this the full time. They help out, so thank you for that. <clears throat> and then the last but not least, my girlfriend Leanna also has her own business. It's called The Black Current. She sells handmade glycerin soaps and wax tart melts. In fact... Right now, she's working downstairs. She's going to be making wax tarts today. This is for her new spring line of product that will be launching sometime in March. Uh, she's made hundreds of soaps already for it, and now she's working on the wax tarts. Uh, check it out at The Black Current, which is at etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash The Black Current, spelled C-U-R-R-A-N-T. I can personally attest to the quality of the stuff that she sells because it's absolutely perfect. It's great stuff, high quality, way better than what you'll buy in the stores, all right? So there you go, short and sweet. I just wanted to get through that quick. Boom, 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 so we can get started. Special thanks to Gino Saji in the stream chat who just posted up the link to uh, my girlfriend's shop. That is it. I'm done. I'm not going to sit here and rant all day. I want to see if this fucking game works. So without further ado, ladies and gents, let us jump back into the world of Street Fighter V. Let us see if this fucking game works. I hope it does, because I'll be honest, if I spend another day offline, I'm not going to be fucking playing this shit anymore. I, I give up. This is the final chance for this game. If I don't play online play today, I quit. I'm tapping out. I'm not going to be choked out every day on this piece of shit. And I'm going to do some other stuff this week. Okay? Alright. Here we go. Fingers crossed. Fuck. 